In this video, we're going to go through how to set up cost codes in LMN. Cost codes are an important part of the LMN side of syncing to QuickBooks because this is going to determine what service items are going to be allocated to your invoices, timesheets, and your other data. But it's really simple to set up, so let's dive right in. To set up your cost codes, you're going to want to go to LMN and you want to go to the estimating section of it. Then what you're going to want to do is click the estimate menu and under the estimate menu, go to cost codes. And what you're going to do is set up here the cost codes that you want to use in LMN to sync to your service items in QuickBooks. Now, if you remember the service items video, each service item had a top level item and then a couple of sub items, materials and subs and rentals, etc. Now, the good news for LMN is you don't need any of the sub items. If I was to open my QuickBooks back to the items we looked at before. So we'll go to list and item list each. Here's what my service item looks like. So they had a top level item and then they had these sub items. All we need to do in LMN is to create cost codes for each one of these top level items. Now, why only the top level? Well, because we're not going to enter vendor invoices in LMN at all. So the cost of materials and subs and rentals and these sub items, that's for QuickBooks. We don't need to worry about them from LMN. LMN is going to deal with two things, revenue from estimates and invoices and the cost of payroll. And both those get allocated to the top level item. So lucky for you, all you need to do is set up your top level items here. To set up an item in cost, or a cost code in LMN, simply go over here to new. I like including the numbers here as well. So let's say I was gonna set up a new one, I'll call it 600. And then we'll classify it as water features, for example. And then okay, you don't really need an external ID that's only used for companies that have an external uh, accounting program or payroll setting. So we click OK, that adds this water features to the cost code list, and that's it. I'm done for setting up the cost codes. Next, we're going to have to just worry about integrating the cost codes or linking them from LMN to QuickBooks, and we're going to do that in the next video. Cost codes are really simple, but if you had any questions about setting up a cost code, be sure to hit us up on live chat or go to goelmn.com help, or you can email us at advice at goelmn.com.